Hi everyone, uh, good night from Bahrain. It's what time is it here in Bahrain? 2020. 2020, nice number. 20 past 20. Um, just finished the first day of testing here in Bahrain. I did the afternoon, Charles did the morning. And it was another positive day of, of testing. We are now going live here on Instagram. Is it Instagram? Yeah. Instagram. And um, yeah, I'm going to be answering some of your questions, so don't be shy. Okay, well, we get a lot of people connected from, I can see Paraguay, I mean, there's quite a lot. Now, um, the first question of the day, how was your testing day? Are you happy with the progress of the uh, new car? I'm happy, yeah. It was another day without any issues, which in testing, that's priority number one. We managed to do, between Charles and me, a lot of laps again. We managed to go through all the run program. Today was tough because it was really warm. So for the mechanics that have been working on the car for 12 hours, 14 hours, in this heat, in these temperatures, have been a, a bit of a long day. For us drivers, obviously, it's, it's tough in the car, but it's, it's, it's less tough physically than Barcelona. It's just quite warm. I just feel a bit for the mechanics, for all the work that they have put on and, and how warm it was in the garage and everything. But uh, we did all the work and we did it well, so um, I'm happy. Okay, coming through very quickly. What are the ra which is the race? Or what are the races you are most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the first race first of all, just to see where everyone is. Looking forward to my home Grand Prix. Looking forward to Monaco. Looking forward to going back to the States. Going to Miami for the first time. Going back to Singapore. I don't know. I look forward to many things this year. I think it's it's going to be an exciting year for Formula One. Okay, uh, many languages. Um, so, how does the car feel around the turns? It feels, in Bahrain, it feels, let's say, a bit worse than in Barcelona because it's a lot warmer, the tarmac has a lot less grip, and, uh, and it feels, yeah, a lot trickier to drive in Bahrain than in Barcelona, but it's normal. We have this every year. Uh, the, the car in the corners feels different to last year, but it also feels uh, like we're doing progress and that we are understanding every time that we go a lap, we, we know a bit better what to do. A lot of, lot of questions about the car. Do you prefer last year's car or this year's car? I, well, I still need to discover a lot of things from this new year car, but I, I'm gonna say the new car because it's a new challenge and I always enjoy a, a new challenge. Okay, um, can we expect to see Ferrari back to the podium regularly? That's the million dollar question that we also would love to answer you that question and say yes, 100%. But at the moment, we don't know. We want to, and I have the feeling that uh, we, we hopefully will. But uh, until I don't try this car on the same fuel level than the others, it's going to be impossible to know. Okay, now the technical. What is the maximum speed on the straights, on this track? I think around Bahrain, we are doing something between 320, 325. Uh, that's around 205 to 100 mile, mile an hour, which is quite, quite a lot, like always in Formula 1. Oh, we always do more or less those speeds. Okay, so uh, are you driving tomorrow in the morning or in the afternoon? I am driving tomorrow in the afternoon again. Okay, so what will you be doing in the morning then? In the morning I will... What am I doing in the morning? Um, I, I will go to the gym in the morning because I want to stretch a bit and... Um, and sweat a bit before I get in the car in the afternoon. Try and get a, um, a good breakfast. Come into a track if Charles start running at 10, so more or less at 10. And um, I follow what Charles will do. Um, we are always following each other to make sure we don't miss any of each other's comments and any new directions that the car might be following and, and going in, uh, in certain directions. So we, we need to catch up. Ok, um, Carlos, ¿qué vas a comer mañana para el desayuno? ¿Qué voy a comer de desayuno? Uh, what am I going to have for breakfast? Voy a comer eh, probablemente un par de dos o tres huevos para subir el nivel de proteína, eh, un par de tostadas y normalmente a cochino y, y a veces cereales, pero tengo que tener mucha hambre para meterme ese desayuno. Eh, una domanda, vai, torni in Italia o torni in Spagna tra eh, questa gara e la pro, tra il test e la gara? No, io rimango a Bahrain eh, tra il test e gara 
e tra Bahrain e Saudi rimango in Bahrain, quindi vado ad essere in Bahrain più di due settimane. E ho l'intenzione di giocare tanto golf perché il tempo qua è, è bello. E abbiamo già pianificato con Charles e Lando eh, diverse attività fuori dal circuito come padel, golf. Eh, sì, andremo a fare delle sport. Sì. <laughs> well, one question was, are you going to play golf uh, these three weeks? Yeah, I'm going to play a lot of golf. Like, Lando and I have already talked about it, we're going to play golf every day, seven times. <laughs> But, uh, one time every day. Ok, e la prossima è in spagnolo. Tienes más o menos musculares que el año pasado? Tengo el mismo músculo que el año pasado. Peso un kilo menos porque me he tenido que quitar un poco de grasa para, para este año y estar un pelín más fino. Pero a nivel de fuerza y masa corporal, tengo igual de músculo que el año pasado. Ok, um, well, how do you feel in the new car? I've already but answered yes, the question, yes, exactly. so far so good, different, but uh, it's getting better. <laughs> okay, so uh, what did you do last night? Did you watch the football? Ah, <laughs> yes, the best question. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy. I mean, I, today I entered the paddock singing a la Madrid with a pass like this. Like, You know, it's, it's the best. I mean, being a Real Madrid supporter is the best in the world because what we lived last night, it, it is incredible. I mean, to come back 2-0 to 3-2 to to in 20 minutes in the Bernabeu, it must be one of the best comebacks ever for Real. And the fighting spirit, the atmosphere that must have lived in the Bernabeu. I have friends that went and it was, they say it was magic. Okay, uh, you just said you played uh, tennis or paddle, I can't remember. Who won? My dad and Charles won against Lando and me, but it was really tight. It was really tight and uh, we will play again for sure. Okay, are you planning any other sport in the next days? Uh, yes, I mean, I, I do sports every day. Tennis, squash, paddle, three racket sports that I'm going to play and golf. I think these four and then obviously I'll be hitting the gym, doing my weights and uh, yeah, my runs. I'll be very busy with the sport. I love it. And this is the very last question, um, which is what are you planning to have for dinner? And then you can say goodbye to all your uh, fans who have connected today. So I'm planning to have a decent plate of pasta to recover a bit of energy from, uh, from today. Uh, I lost Throughout the day, I lost 1.3 kilos. It's quite a lot. I sweat quite a lot. So I need to recover liquid. I need to recover energy. So water or electrolytes and pasta. And then my daily dose is around 50 grams of protein. I need to have in this dinner. So quite a big meal. Uh, still on the lean side, but uh, I'll be getting all the macronutrients. Okay, just say goodbye to everyone. Uh, thank you everyone for your questions. Always good to catch up with you guys. Thanks for your support. Keep following us during the test. Keep supporting us. And uh, yeah, uh, we will keep pushing back on track to get ready for the first race. Bye.